guys, thanks for uh, stopping by. I hope your week's going well. Um, it's a nice winter's day, the sun is shining and the garage has uh, warmed up a little bit. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you, you probably already guessed from the title that I've got some beer mail. But what makes this a little bit different is, hopefully you can read the label, Forgotten 43 Brewing. This is my first lot of commercial beer mail. Um, but also what makes this a little bit different, if you don't know the history of 43, uh, Forgotten 43 Brewing, um, Forgotten 43 Brewing is run by Mike and Caleb, and I'll put a photo here somewhere. And uh, you might recognise the guys, they are in fact um, the home brewers from Hard Yards Brewing. So they have gone on to open up a commercial brewery, brewing, brewing, brewery in uh, Taranaki here in New Zealand. So uh, been dying to try their beers for a while and I contacted Mike and he was very kind enough to uh, send a selection of uh, beers up. So thank you very much Mike and Caleb, I'm totally blown away. I would have been happy with one beer, so to get a box, um, I'm over the moon. So we're going to, I'll show you what's inside, and then I thought we might uh, crack one open. So we won't pull them out in any particular order, um, but check out the labels, fantastic looking labels. I'm not sure who's doing your artwork, uh, Mike and Caleb, but uh, they look fantastic. Um, so this is a Moki Dark. Uh, coffee Porter, 4.2%, uh, um, limited release. So what we'll do is we'll crack one beer open and we'll talk about each beer individually as I, as I do some uh, tasting videos on them. Next one up we've got the Hard Yards Smash Beer clocking at 4.2%. So that looks absolutely fantastic as well. And yeah, really loving these labels, they look Top notch. Okay, this one we've got the Black Gold Irish Milk Stout. Try and fit that in there without uh, blocking it out completely. And then last but not least, we have got Mike and Caleb's Lost Track American Pale Ale clocking in at 5.5%. So thank you very much for these guys. Um, as I said before, totally unexpected, but I'm very, very happy and uh, excited to, to finally have your beers in my hot little hands. Um, hopefully at some stage I'll get down to uh, Forgotten 43 Brewing and uh, for a road trip. But in the meantime, I've got the next best thing, so thank you guys. But I thought we might crack one open. And the one, I, thought, I feel like some sort of stout, what I thought we might do first, is this one here. So this is the Black Gold Irish milk stout clocking in at 5%. So, uh, as luck would have it, I have a uh, stout glass here. So, we'll crack this open. So, yeah, I hope everyone's, uh, like I say, hope everyone's week's going well. A little hiss off the top, but not too much, which you'd uh, probably expect from a, from a stout. So yeah, I've actually just um, bottled up a stout myself, so uh, hopefully in a week or two we'll, uh, we'll do a tasting video on that. But in the meantime, we have got a very fantastic looking uh, stout to uh, keep me more than happy in the meantime. So I'll just read a little bit about what's on the label. Um, so Black Gold was created with a nod to the two main economic drivers in Taranaki, petrochemical and the dairy industries. A smooth and velvety beer with a gentle sweetness from the addition of lactose, balanced with hints of coffee, chocolate and edgy licorice. Put your feet up in front of the fire and savour this ode to industry. So that fa sounds fantastic. I like that you've got a little bit of background on each of the beers. Fantastic. So uh, I'll put links to um, Forgotten 43's uh, website, etc. down below. Do check them out. If you live in New Zealand, um, definitely check them out. If you're in Taranaki, um, I would uh, highly recommend going to pay them a visit. So cheers, guys. Cheers, Mike and Caleb. Ooh. That smells 
just like how I was expecting it. Some nice smooth roast on the top and some nice sweetness. So yeah, sweet, sweet chocolate and sort of hints of coffee. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now I should have probably um, taken this out of the fridge a little earlier. So we'll drink some on camera and then I'll savour the rest later. So cheers everyone. That's good. Got a nice dryness to it, so being an Irish milk stout, there's probably quite a lot of um, roasted barley in there. But yeah, getting that nice roast and dry finish, or dry yeah, finish at the back end, but um, it's a real nice smooth roast. There's no sort of astringency there or anything. That is delicious. And you do get that nice sort of milk sweetness coming through. And then also, I think it mentioned licorice on there. Um, you do get that licorice. Just as you swallow the beer, you get that sort of... Um, it's like the licorice almost sort of concentrates at the end of the uh, end of the mouth or back of the mouth. That's that is really really nice, guys. But this one is absolutely top not top notch, and I could see these flying out the door of the brewery. Oh, that's delicious! Look at the colour on that. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit too cold. Rookie mistake. But that head, a ringer head, is a nice, uh, rich mocha colour there. That is first rate, guys. Thank you very much. Um, I am going to uh, enjoy go inside the house and put my feet up, like it says on the label. Enjoy the rest of that. So thank you again. It's a nice little uh, map in New Zealand. Also really want to pause that you can see where the forgotten 43 name came from as well um, so thank you very much guys and the good good thing is I've got another three beers to uh, enjoy as well so we'll do separate videos for those well that smells fantastic bitterness um, is, is quite low get a nice hit up front but um, very very drinkable so it's five percent but um, That is delicious. I've had a few. I had an Irish, um, I know it's not an Irish stout, it's an Irish milk stout, but I had an Irish stout on the weekend and it was, yeah, there was too much roast and it was way, way, way too dry. Whereas I think I prefer this and the lactose has probably balanced out that, um, that uh, dryness that you can get from an Irish stout. So um, no, that is top notch guys. Okay, I'm starting to waffle. We will stop there. Thank you again guys, check out uh, Mike and Caleb's channel below, and uh, cheers to you all, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.